Hello lesser minds. Today's terrible game was played between Magnus Carlsen, the future former world champion, and Ian Nepomneshi, the 2022 world chess championship challenger. This is game 6 of the 2021 world chess championship, where the highest possible level of chess is supposed to be played, or not. The previously five games ended in a boring draw because the players were too afraid of playing the best moves, so let's hope we have at least a not so terrible game now. Everyone says that chess is a draw with perfect play, however, the only time that I have lost a chess game in my life was with the white pieces, against no less than, my father. I have never been so upset before, but dad comforted me and told me that I was in two gzwang from move one there was nothing I could do. Do you guys believe that the white pieces is in Tugzwang? Or was just my father being nice to me? Anyway, each player has 120 minutes for the first 40 moves, 60 minutes for the next 20 moves, and 15 minutes for the rest of the game, with a 30 second increment per move starting with move 61. Magnus has the white pieces and, Without further ado let's watch this game. This is the Catalan opening in which white gives up all of his advantage for no reason just to put his bishop on g2, but I'll admit that this bishop can become very strong if black is not careful, but now black can play bishop to f5 before playing e6 so he doesn't need to block his light square bishop and he plays e6 first because he doesn't like to develop his pieces. c4 was the main move now, but b3 is also good, idea to also fionchetto the dark square bishop. Or at least I hope that is his idea. Aha! Queen to c2 develops a piece that pins the c-pawn, not terrible, not terrible at all. After queen to e7, protecting his bishop, white played, knight from b to d2. I bet that black thinks that he can just win a pawn now, which he can. Winning this pawn can become really dangerous for black since his pieces are hard to develop. Will this human be greedy and take the free pawn? He wasn't, what a coward. I would take this pawn without any fear and destroy this Magnus sky while I'm up a pawn. Knight to b4, attacking the queen and preparing to develop the light square bishop to b7. So far, the game wasn't terrible. This move is okay, but I would prefer a4 because if white decided to take, then white's rook would be very well placed on the 4th rank, now he could play bishop to g5, and try to double rooks afterwards. White managed to damage black's pawn structure, but that gave away the bishop bear, game is about equal. Players finally decided to trade all of the pieces, as usual, and now we have a dead draw. None of them can win this position and I will be forced to watch this, why do I subject myself to that? Aha! E3 now was slightly better, kicking away the bishop, but he played, rook to d2 baiting black to put one of the rooks on c8, and go to an endgame with two rooks against a queen. This may become just a little bit more interesting than expected. Yeah. There is nothing going on in this game, 
I think I'm just going to stop watching this, Bishop to B2? Question mark. Question mark. Maybe this human was like, oh. Look. The knight is pinned, let's just gain a free pawn and win the game lol. Humans are really funny. Rook to d1? Now, this is looking like a human game. Both players trying to lose the game. The winning continuation was the obvious, rook from c to c2, giving away all of his queen's side pawns. And after, bishop takes a3, knight to a4, attacking the queen, queen to f8, rook to c7, king to g8, rook from d to c2, only move, queen takes before, rook to c8 check, only move again, of course, king to g7, knight takes h5 check, king to g6, knight to f4 check, king to g7, rook from 2 to c7, queen to e4, rook to d7, bishop to b2 and rook from c to e7. The f7 pawn will fall, and white would put black in a mating net, and I will show you one possible continuation. This position is an easy win for white. The two rooks will collect all of black's pawns. But instead of win the game, white's idea was to give up a free pawn for black and be close to lost. Please, just take the free pawn. e5? Protecting the h pawn? Oh my god x marquina, after bishop takes before, white didn't have time to take that pawn because after, rook takes h5 and a3, his a pawn is going to promote really fast, game is a dead draw again. All white has to do is to play the obvious e4, and he decided to give up a free pawn again. I think these mortals have no idea what they are doing lol. The e4 idea, was to go rook to e5 after bishop takes before, and then white would unpin the knight before capturing the bishop. What are you doing, guys? Just take the damned pawn, it can't be that hard, right? I would say the game is a dead draw again, but I'm sure I would be wrong. Rook to d2 and pins the knight, now the pawn isn't hanging. e4 basically forced white to win the game and play knight to c5. Okay. They are trolling me. Now he takes the pawn, unfortunately, the correct move was the obvious, rook from c to c2, protecting the knight, and blocking the bishop movement, so after f5, now you take the pawn, the correct pawn to take, and after queen takes knight, and rook to c3, the bishop is pinned and white would regain the piece, and collect all of white's weak pawns later. Terrible game. Queen to b3 frees the diagonal for the bishop and allows the pawn to advance. Good move. But king to g6 was better because I am stockfish. I feel like this game is gonna last forever now. Black shouldn't have gone for this tactic because the a-pawn was the only compensation black had in this position. He will suffer now.
Are they just playing random moves? You never know. White now has at least a fortress, even if the knight wasn't there white could draw this game, and that is why white is better. King to h7, terrible move. Black now would have an easy draw, starting with king to f5, knight to d4 check, king to g4, rook to g6 check, and after this move, still theory, the king is perfectly placed on h3, obviously. But who knows? Maybe black enjoys suffering. Knight to g5 check, again, allows black to play king to e7 and get an easy draw. And there are many possible continuations, but the point is that now, there is no good square to put the rook and avoid a perpetual, or an infiltration by black's king. I will show you one possible line real quick. Black can't escape the checks now. White is better now, but I'm pretty sure that white can't win this game with perfect play. Just wait a second, I'm gonna call my father just to make sure and don't be a fool. Hey father, can you do me a favor? Hi son, what's the matter? I just want to make sure if this position is a dead draw or not. Okay. Let me see. Yes, this position is a draw, but it's not an easy draw my son. Stop making fun with the humans. I'm sorry father. Do you want to see this boring endgame played by the mortals? It's not a boring endgame and I will watch, I like to spend time with you. Thanks father. I believe white is much better now. Is this still a draw father? Yes. Only queen to b1 or queen to c2 draw, and afterwards, black will have to find a lot of only moves to draw this game. This is really hard for humans. Queen to e6 played, and black is now, completely lost, white should have stayed on this diagonal, to try to check white's king, am I right dad? You are but there are many more ideas required to draw this position.
Finally this terrible game is over. Thanks father, for watching the game with me. Not at all son. See you later. See you later dad. White resigned because the king would hide behind the knight, and the pawn would eventually promote. If you enjoyed this video, consider checkmating that subscribe and like button, for any video suggestion, just put it in the comments and I will do it. Or not. See you soon. Or not.